regard, in regards to lower state of women and men. And he sees that and he's like, well, I'm going to show you favor. Okay? For behold, for henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty have done me great things, and holy is his name. Right? And his mercy is on them that fear him from generation to generation. Right? So it's, yeah, it's about the beginning of wisdom. It's what fearing Yahweh Shai. He have shown strength with his arm. He have scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. This is prophecy. This is Mary speaking about what's going to happen. Right? Okay. And it says, He have put down the mighty from their seats. Okay. And exalt them that are of low degree. He says he has put down, down the mighty. Okay. From their seats. From them high seats. He's put them down. Okay. That's why everything that's exalted shall be what? Abased. Okay. And everything that's abased shall be what? Exalted. Alright. From a low degree, and a lot of these people, they're proud, right? A lot of these people, they're proud. Oh, they got a little bit of muscle, but they're proud. They're still proud, right? The scriptures, yeah, bodily exercise, it profited little, but godly, godliness, that profit, that profits more, right? You could do all the exercise you want, but you're still wicked, right? But you're still a demon. Right? A lot of these people, they're, they're small in the mind. They have what you call a hive mentality. Because no exercise, what? No muscles are going to stop their missiles from hitting you. <laughs> when their missiles come, no form of exercise is going to stop their missiles. Okay? But we'll see, in due time, we'll see. Everything is fun and games now, but in due time, we will see. Right? He has filled the hungry with good things. And that's why the scripture says, Blessed are those that thirst and blessed are those that hunger for righteousness. Right? So he has filled the hungry with good things. And we're being filled with what this word. Alright? And the rich have been sent away empty. Alright? Those that are what? Doing good in this world. They're going to be sent away empty. Void of what? Knowledge. Void of wisdom. Okay. You have hope in his servant. Okay. Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham, to his seed forever. And Mary abode with her about three months and returned to her house. And now Elizabeth full time came that she should be delivered and brought forth a son right when she joined the Baptist and her neighbours and her cousins heard how the Lord has shown great mercy upon her may rejoice in her right and it came to pass that on the eighth day they came to circumcise the child okay and they called him Zacharias, after the name of his father, so John's name was changed to John. Hold on a minute. And they called him Zacharias, of the, yeah, he changed his name to Zacharias. Right? And his mother asked and said, Not so, he shall be called John. So it was changed. The mother said, No, 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 not so. I'll call you John instead. Which is actually Yakanan. Okay? And it says, And they said unto her, There is. None of thy kindred that is called by this name. And they made signs. So that name stood out. There was no other kindred that was named by that name. Right? Of his relatives. And they made signs to his father how he would ask him. He would have him called. And he asked for a writing table. And wrote saying his name is John. And they marveled all. And his mouth was opened immediately. And his tongue loosed and spake. And praise the Most High. 
a fair came on all that dwelt right about them and all these saints were noised abroad throughout all the hill country right of Judea so there was a great rejoicing check the time there was a great rejoicing of John the Baptist and his birth okay and it says maybe just a minute and his mouth was opened immediately as soon as what John the Baptist was born right and it says and the tongue loose and he spake and praised the most high all right and it says and his mouth was opened immediately and tongue loose and he spake and he praised the most high a fair came on all those that dwelt round about them and all these sayings were noised abroad throughout all the regions uh, all the hill country of Judea and they all that heard him were laid upon them in their hearts saying what manner of child shall this be and the hand of the Lord Yahweh was with him okay and his father Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied saying blessed be the Lord power of Israel that he had visited and redeemed his people right so now that was a blessing for what <laughs> for who for Israel and it says he has redeemed his people what does redeem mean to buy it back right and have raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David a horn power that's what it represents horn represents power okay and it says as he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world began because it was prophesied in the Messiah to come even John the Baptist all these things were prophesied okay and it says that we should be saved from our enemies and that's exactly what Yahushua is going to do save us from our enemies right and from the hand of all those that hate us yes including those that hate us as well okay to perform the mercy promised to our father and to remember his holy covenant okay and yeah he kept the covenant with Israel okay and the oath which he had swear to our father Abraham okay that he would grant unto us that we being delivered out of the hand of our enemies this is a promise right might serve him without fear in holiness in righteousness before him all the days of our life in the kingdom serve him without fear because right now our people are not serving Yahweh Shai without fear so in the kingdom they're going to be doing that okay in holiness and in righteousness before him all the days of our life right and thou child shall be called the prophet of the highest which is speaking of John the Baptist the prophet of the highest the most high right it was not of men it was of the most high it was of Yahweh right for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways so who's the prophet of the highest the most high taught John the Baptist personally he was being dealt with because Yahabashah was not there when, the, when John the Baptist was on the scene was he, was he the first spirit? yes but he was not there when, when John the Baptist was born right? okay and it says to give knowledge and salvation unto his people okay by the remission of their sins so that's what Yahabashah was doing giving knowledge and what of a mission of what salvation right of salvation giving you the knowledge of salvation which was Yahweh Shai 
He wasn't teach you of himself. Uh, get with me. No, he's teach you of your have a shy. Okay. And it says, and these people by the remission of their sins. So John the Baptist, yes, he had power to forgive sins. Okay. Through the tender mercy of our power whereby the day spring from on high have visited us to give light to them that sit in the darkness and the shadow of death to guide our feet in the way into the way of peace and the trial grew who John the Baptist right and waxed strong in the spirit okay and was in the deserts to the day of his showing unto Israel speaking of John the Baptist see I thought I'd go into a whole another lesson I thought I'd go into a whole other lesson today, but it didn't, it didn't go to... See, this way, it's just of the spirit. So now we're, we might as well continue on this. Bear me just a minute. Since we're talking about John the Baptist, right? Basically, he was the forerunner for Yahweh Shai. All right. Let's go. Before we go to that baby, just a minute. Just hold that right there. Okay. These stiffs. That's what I call them. These stiffs. <laughs> okay. Oh man. What what a life to live. People are living life without any meaning, any purpose, right? What type of life is that? Let's go to Matthew's, Baba Kisha. You know, this truth, it gives us what? Purpose, true purpose, okay? Go to Matthew's. Matthew's free in those days, right? John the Baptist okay John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea right and saying repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand right so even John the Baptist saying look the kingdom of heaven is at hand it's approaching repent ye for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, right? And we know the majority of people, they're not gonna repent. That's why the majority of people you see are gonna be destroyed, okay? For this was spoken by the prophet Isaiah, saying the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare ye the way of the Lord. All right, you're getting ready. Make his path straight. Right? And saying, John and his raiment, right? Of camel's hair. And a loving girdle about his legs. And his meat was locusts and wild honey. Right? So, John, you had a raiment of camel's hair. And a loving girdle. Okay, and it says, and his meat was locusts and wild honey. Okay, that was his diet, locusts and wild honey. He spent loads of his time in the wilderness, right? Then went out to Jerusalem, out all Judea, and a region right about Jordan. So it says, then went out to him to Jerusalem. Right, he had many that left Jerusalem just to see John the Baptist, to be baptised, right? And all the region about Jordan, so they believed. Yeah, you had those that were in Judea that believed in what? Yeah, that believed in John the Baptist, right? But was he the Messiah himself? No, right? And were baptised of him in the Jordan, confessing their sins, right? 
So yeah, many that came all the way from Jerusalem to meet John in the wilderness, the Jordan as well, just to get baptized, right? For forgiveness of sins. But when he saw many of the Pharisees and Sadducees come to his baptism, he said unto them, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. So John the Baptist, he had high levels of discernment. He could look at someone and basically see through their soul what they were thinking, right? He could read minds and so forth. That's why he said, who warned you to flee from the wrath to come? You serpents, you vipers. So John the Baptist, he had this discernment, that's spiritual power. That's spiritual power. To be able to look into someone's soul, that's spiritual power. And to know if someone's right or they're not right. Okay? Bring forth, therefore, fruits, meat for repentance, meat. In other words, acceptable for repentance. Right? And that's what, that's what Yahabashai wants. Those that are going to be acceptable for repentance. Not just coming to them because you're an Israelite. Not just because you know you're an Israelite. That doesn't mean you're saved. Excuse me. You have to repent first and trust in Yahabashai. Okay? And think not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham our father, because you have that mentality. Oh, well, we're Israelites, no. Because this is down to the spirit of Yahweh For I say unto you, but he is able with these stones, right? So you got stones here. He's able with these stones, right? Then pick up a stone. Right? He's able with these stones, there's a little stone here. He's able with these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. So that's what he's able to do. It's not that Yahabashah needs us. He's able to raise up stones. Right? Stones can serve him. So it shows, that's why Yahabashah said we are unprofitable servants. After you've done all these things. And now the axe also is laid unto the root of the trees. And the trees represent men in this truth. Wherefore, every tree which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire. So you've got to bring forth what acceptable fruit. Right? And cast into the fire. Is there for what destruction? Okay. I indeed baptize you with water and to repentance. And he that cometh after me is mightier than I am, whose shoes are not worthy to bear. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. So John the Baptism let you know this one that cometh after me that I'm not worthy to tie his what? Shoe latchet. His sandal latchet. Right? His lace. And he, and he said, he shall baptize you. With what? The Holy Spirit. And with fire. Right? So what's that fire? That fire is the Holy Spirit. And that fire is tribulation. Right? That's a part of that fire. Whose fan is in his hand. And he will thoroughly purge his floor. So right now that, that, that purging's being done. Purging his floor. And the only thing that's going to be left is what? What's acceptable? Okay? And it says, And gather the wheat into his garner, but he will burn up the chaff with unquenchable fire. The chaff is going to be the residue. That's going to be burnt up, unquenchable fire. 
Okay. And it says, Then cometh Yahusha from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. Yahusha to be baptized of John. Right? This is all prophecy. Right? It all happened in the right time, the right moment. Okay? But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee. And comest thou to me? John was saying, look, look, I'm expecting you to baptize me. <laughs> right? But you have need to be baptized of me. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto him, Suffer it now. Suffer it to be so now. Right? For thus it becometh unto us to fulfill all righteousness. When he suffered him. Right? And Yahweh, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water. And now the heavens were opened unto him. And he saw the Spirit of the Most High descending like a dove. So he actually saw that Spirit of Yahweh descending like a dove, coming down out of them, out of them clouds. Okay? And lighting upon him. The Holy Spirit, he actually saw the Holy Spirit lighting. Upon Yahweh Shai. Okay. And now a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved son. Key thing, beloved, excuse me. Key thing, beloved son. In whom I am well pleased. Right? See, Yahweh Shai was always, the Heavenly Father was always pleased with Yahweh Shai. Okay. So now we went to that Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Now let's go to where was we? Elijah. Right? This is Ecclesiastes 48. Verses of Elias, which is Elijah. The prophet. As fire. And the word was as fire. Right? And his word burns. So, so this word is like that. It burns. Is not this word like a fire? Like a lamp. Right? It says his, his word burns like a fire. And this is what this word does. Okay? So, he had, he had zeal. And fire also represents what? Zeal. Okay? He brought a sort of famine upon them by his zeal okay he diminished their number remember because you had what prophets that were coming up against Elijah you had the prophets of Baal coming up against Elijah right and he confounded them okay by the word of the Lord he shut up the heaven yeah yeah power Elijah had great power this is how John the Baptist had great power Elijah had great power, right? He had that as well. Okay? And it says, and also three times brought down fire. So Elijah was able to shut heavens, stop it from raining, and also bring fire. Right? We can go into that if I can find them. And these same things are going to happen again today. We're going to see miracles very soon. Very, very soon. Right? And it says, and oh Elias, how was thou honoured in thy wondrous deeds? And who made glory like unto thee? Did it raise up the dead man from death? You also raise up a dead man, right? And that um, that widow, her son. I forgot the son's name. I don't even think it mentions the name. And he saw from the place of the dead by the word of the Most High. It was all through the word. So the spiritual power is through the word. That's how we gain spiritual power. Morning. Morning. That's how we gain spiritual power. Through the word and nothing else. Well, the magicians, they have power, but that power is on the left-hand side. But well, we have power on the right-hand side. Okay? And it says, who brought of kings to destruction. So he even brought great kings to destruction. I think Ahab, but Ahab was showing what mercy. Right? Ahab repented. Okay, there were different kings that um, Elijah had to go up against. And it says, 
Behave just a minute, behave just a minute. Two voices, kings of destruction, honorable men from their beds. Right? Yeah. And heard this rebuke of the Lord, you have a shy. In Sana and in Horeb, in the judgment of vengeance, who are known to kings to take revenge and prophets to succeed. After him, who was taken up in a whirlwind of fire. So Elijah, Elijah never saw death. Right? Elijah never saw death. Right? Just how Enoch never saw death, Elijah never saw death. Right? Same way. Right? He was beamed up. And that's, that's, what, that's what we want. We want to be beamed up as well. Okay? In them chariots. Okay? You got a man over there taking pictures of me like this is a zoo. But that's okay. Okay? And it says, people are fascinated. Okay? People are fascinated. And it says, and he was taken up into a whirlwind of fire. And remember the chariots, they look like fire. Fire in Egypt was fire by, um, fire by night. What's it? Fire by night, fire by day. Okay. And it says, bear me some minutes. And the nine kings and the world went, and in a chariot of fiery horses, who was ordained for reproofs. He was ordained, he was set up for that. Elijah was set up for reproofs. To reproof. Okay. In their times to pacify it. The wrath of the Lord's judgment. Right? Just so the Lord would not, would, would not destroy some of our people. Elijah was there. And that's why you have prophets on the scene. To warn you. Okay. And it says. And it says to pacify the wrath. Right? Of the Lord's judgment. Before it break forth into fury and to turn the heart of the father unto the son. Right? And to restore the tribes of Jacob. Turn the heart of the father to the son. Just like John the Baptist done. Right? Blessed are all they that saw thee and slept in love for we shall surely live. Elias. It was who was covered with a whirlwind. And Elias was filled with his Holy Spirit. Well, who was that? Elisha. Right? Elisha was filled with the Holy Spirit of Elijah. He was given what? A double portion. Okay? And there's more. Whilst he lived, he was not moved by the presence of any prince, neither could any bring him into subjection. So, Elijah and Elisha, they couldn't be manipulated by all the evil that was happening. Right? They were not following the evil. Okay? No word could come, overcome him. No word could overcome Elijah. No militia, right? That's great power. No words, okay? And after his death, his body was prophesied. He did wonders in his life, and at his death were his works marvelous. For all this, the people repented not, neither did they depart it, right from their sins till they were spoiled and carried out of their land. So you always had warnings, right? You always had warnings, and that's why people were carried into captivity. Right? And it says, I must scatter throughout the earth, yet there remained a small people and a ruler in the house of David, of whom some did that which was pleasing to the most high, and some multiplied sins. So, what we're done on that, and we're going to go to Kings, I believe it is. Right? Let's go to Kings. Baba Kisha. See if we can find it. And them same miracles are going to be done. Elisha. First Kings, right? First Kings, one and three. But the angel of the Lord said unto Elijah the Tishbite, right? Go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria and say unto them, it is not because there is not a power in Israel that you go to inquire of Beelzebub. So you have those of our people, they were inquiring of what? Of foreign 
idol, a Philistine idol, a Moabite idol. Right? And it says, is it not because there was no power in Israel? But you go to inquire of Beelzebub, the god of Ekron. Now therefore, thus saith the Lord, Jehovah I was shy. Right? Thou shalt not come down from that bed on which thou art gone up. Thou shalt surely die, and Elijah departed. So Elijah, he straight away pronounced that judgment. So you understand why people really, really feared Elijah. Because when he said something, it happened. Right? And when the messengers turned back unto him, he said unto them, Why are you now turned back? Right? And they said unto him, There came a man to meet us. Right? Look at his foolishness. You know? They came a man to meet us and said unto us, Go and turn again unto the king that sent you and say unto him, Thus said the Lord, power is not because he is not a power in Israel that they sent to inquire of Beelzebub, the power of Ekron. Right? They were sent. Right? But hold on a minute, there was a power in Israel. But this goes down to a lack of faith. But if you already had faith, you'd be inquiring of the power of Israel, Yahweh Abishai. Okay? Not, not Beelzebub. Okay? Wherefore should I not come down from that bed which thou art gone up, and the, surely thou shalt die? And he said unto them, What manner of man was he which came up to meet thee, but told you these words? And they answered him, right? And this is Ekron, when Ekron was pronouncing this. He was a heavy man, okay? And girt about with a leathern girdle, okay? With leather about his loins. It sounds very, very, very similar to John the it's very similar to John the Baptist. John the Baptist had a level of what? Gir girdle. Right? So it's the same. The same spirit. Okay. Obviously, it's different flesh, but it's the same spirit. Right? And girt about with a girdle of leather about his loins, just like John the Baptist. Locusts, wild honey, and he said, It is Elijah, the Tishbite. Right? Then the king said unto him, a captain of fifty, with his fifty, he went up unto him, and behold, he sat on the top of the hill. Right? And he spoke unto him, Thou man of God, the king of said, Come down. And Elijah answered and said to the captain of fifty, if I be a man of the most side and let fire come down from heaven and consume thee and thy fifty, right? That's great faith. So Elijah, he was confident that he was a man of Yahweh I was shy. If I be a man of the Lord, let fire come down from heaven and consume these men, right? And thy fifty. And there came down fire from heaven. And consumed him and his 50. Right? So it happened. They were consumed with that fire. So that was miracles being done. Right? Just how these people, they're going to get consumed. They're going to get consumed with that fire of the Lord Yahweh of a shite. Okay? And it says, again, he sent unto him another captain of 50 with his 50. So the Prophet of Baal keep sending what they were treating. Okay. And it says, and he answered and said unto him, O man of the Most High, thus had the king said, Come down quickly. And Elijah answered and said unto them, If I be a man of the Most High, let fire come down from heaven and consume thee. And the fifty and the fire of the most like came down from heaven and consumed his fifty. And he sent again a captain of thirty um third thirty, third fifty with his fifty, 
and third capped on 50 red up, right? And came and fell on his knees before Elijah and besought him, right? And said unto him, right? O man of the Most High, I pray thee, let my life and life of these 50 servants be precious in thy sight. Behold, they came fire down from heaven and burnt up two captains of the former fifties with their fifties. Therefore, let my life now be precious in thy sight. And the an angel of the Lord, Yahweh said unto Elijah, Go down with him, be not afraid of him. So the angel comforted Elijah, and it was a region where Elijah was on that mount. Because below that mount, you had what? Captains of 50s trying to destroy Elijah. So now the angel told him, Get down from that mountain, you're going to be fine. Right? Be not afraid of him. And he arose and went down unto the king. And he said unto him, Doth save the Lord Yahweh for as much. Right? As thou sent messengers to inquire of Beelzebub, the power of Ekron. It is not because there is no power in Israel to inquire of his words. Therefore, thou shalt not come down. How about shh, you shh, clowns. Therefore, thou shalt not come down. You see how you see how passive aggressive these people are? Just you just cross the road if you don't like the sound. Weak men. Right? Therefore shall I come down off that bed. Okay. Which I've gone up. But I shall surely die. Right? Let that let that let that be a curse to him. Right? Yeah, by Shim Yah shall but a but a but a but. Right? And it says. And he said unto him, Thus said the Lord, for as much as I sent messages to inquire about the bub, demons, the power of Ekron. It is not because there is no power in Israel. To in it's not because there is no power in Israel to inquire of his words. Therefore, should I come down from off that bed on that gone up? So in other words, you're going to have to pass away. Right? But surely, Thou shalt die. Okay. So he died according to the word of the Lord. Yahweh Shai, which Elijah had spoken. And Jerome, Jehoram, reigned in his stead in the second year of Jehoram, the son of Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, because he had no son. Now the rest of the acts of Ahaziah, which he did, are not they written in the book of the Chronicles of the kings of Israel, right? And it came to pass when the Lord Jehovah Shai would take up Elijah, the Lord Jehovah would take up Elijah, you can say the Lord Jehovah Shai, into the heaven by a whirlwind. Key thing, whirlwind, chariots, vehicles of salvation. Some call them UFOs. Right, Elijah went to Elisha from Gigal, right, which was Elijah's predecessor. Okay? And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tell me here, I pray thee. For the Lord Jehovah shall have sent me, Bethel. And you may say, oh, so certain men say, oh, well, why are you shouting? The scripture says, lift up your voice like a trumpet. Sometimes you shout, sometimes you, sometimes you don't. You know? And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tavi here, I pray thee, for the Lord Jehovah Shai have sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, as, not, as the Lord liveth, as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So he's fully committed to Elijah. Right? Loyal. And as the soul liveth, I will not leave thee. Right? So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets that were at Bethel came forth to Elisha, Elisha, I said unto him, Knowest that the Lord Jehovah Shai will take away thy master from thy head today. Right? And he said, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray thee. For the Lord Jehovah Shai, I've said thee. 
And he said, as the Lord liveth, as the soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. Elisha didn't want to leave Elijah. And the sons of the prophets that were with were at Jericho came to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord Jericho will take away thy master from thy head today? And answered, Yeah, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee here. For the Lord Jericho have sent me to Jordan and said, Woo! Hey, you know what's spiritual? Elijah was also sent to the river Jordan just like John the Baptist so this is it's spiritual you got the belt they both had a golden god of your um what's it a golden what belt and also they were both sent to the Jordan so that's spiritual that is spiritual and this is how you know Elijah was John the Baptist John the Baptist was Elijah you can't make it up. Okay? Excuse me. And it's more baby just a minute. And um Where was we? Where was we? Where was we? Where was we on the Jordan? Yes, and it says, and fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood few afar off, and they two stood by the Jordan. And Elijah took up his mantle and wrapped it together. Right? Your mantle was what your, another word for your garment. Right? And wrapped it together and smote the waters. And they were divided hither. That's spiritual power. Right? And thither, so that they were two went over onto dry ground. So they crossed. Right? And it says, and it came to pass when they were gone over. That Elijah said unto Elisha, right? Ask what should I do for thee before I be taken away from thee. So Elijah was saying, Look, I'm going back to the heavens. Ask me your request. What do you want before I go back to the heavens? Right? And Elisha said, I pray thee, let the double portion of the Spirit be upon me. What a good thing to pray for. Right? Because he saw, Elisha saw the miracles that Elijah was doing. So it was a wise thing that Elisha to ask for a double portion of the spirit. A double portion. Right? In other words, the spirit that Elijah has, he wants that. And you can pray for a double portion. And he said, thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee, but if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass as still they went, right? All right? And talked that, behold, there appeared a chariot of fire and horses of fire and parted both asunder. And Elijah went up by the whirlwind into heaven. Okay. So he was delivered up. Remember, Elijah saw no death. And Elijah saw it and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel and the horsemen thereof, and he saw him no more. And he took hold of his own clothes and rent them in pieces, two pieces. And he took up also the mantle unto Elijah, right? That fell from him and went back. So it says the key thing, he took up that mantle. That was that same mantle, that same garment, right? That he smoked the waters with, okay? That fell from him and went back and stood by the bank of the Jordan. Right? And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him and smote the waters. Right? I know that's heavy. So he done exactly. So you, you got a picture of the mind of Elisha. Elisha was thinking, I just saw Elijah smote the waters. I want to try the same thing. Right? And he took the mantle of Elijah and fell from him and smote the waters and said, where was the Lord power of Elijah when he had also smitten the waters? Right? They parted hither and differ. And Elisha went over. Right? And when the sons of the prophets, which were to view at Jericho, saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. So the people are looking at it in, in amazement. Hold on. The spirit that's in, the, in, in Elisha 
we recognize it. That's the same spirit of Elijah. They recognized it. Okay? And the spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elisha. And they came to meet him and bow themselves to the ground before him. So they were all given obedience to what? Elisha. Okay? And it says, and they came to meet him and bowed themselves to before him. And they said unto him, Behold, now there be thy servants, fifty strong men. Let them go. We pray thee. And seek thy master. Right? That's pre adventure. The Spirit of the Lord have taken them up and cast him upon some mountain or into some valley. And he said, You shall not send. And when they urged, when they urged him too, he was ashamed. And he said, Send. They sent their, their 450 men and sought three days but found him not. And when they came again to him, there he tarried at Jericho. And he said unto him, Right? And he said unto him, Baby, just a minute. When, when they came again to him, for he tarried at Jericho, he said unto them, Do not that I say to you, go not. And then the men of the city said unto Elisha, Behold, I pray thee, the situation of the city is pleasant, as my Lord seeth. But the water is not. Remember, because he smote the waters, right? And the ground of the barren morning. And the ground of the barren. And he said, Bring me a new cruise. All right? And put salt therein. And they brought it to him. And he went forth unto the spring of the waters and cast the salt in there and said, Thus saith the Lord, You have a shot. I've healed these waters. There shall not be from thence any more death or barren land. So the water was healed. The water was healed through what salt? Okay, so the waters, right, were healed. Hey, you know, hey, you know what, I'm about, I'm about to do another lesson on it later on. It's alright, it's alright, something I was thinking about. They're really, you know what, these people are funny. You know, as much as, you know, you've got people that are trying to distract other people from listening, but the people, they still want to know what's going on. See, this knowledge is powerful. People still want to know what's going on. Okay, and it says... So the waters were healed unto this day according to the saying of Elisha, which he spake. And he went up from thence unto Bethel. As he was going up by the way, wherefore came forth little children out of the city and mocked him. And said unto him, Go up thou bored head. And that's why you've got to be careful who you're mocking in this truth. That's what they were saying to Elisha. Go up, bored head. And these were children. Right? Go up thou bored head. And he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord Jehovah Shai. Right? So you got to think, no, don't you think that's a bit unfair? Oh, no. These individuals, they were mocking Elisha, calling them bored heads. So we just looked back and cursed them. And certain things we do as well. You mock the prophets of the Lord, yeah, they can curse you. And once that curse is put out, it's not turned back. Okay? And that's why you've got to be careful who you come up against. Especially the prophets. Alright? Because you come up against the prophets, that could be your last, your last move. Your last and wrong move. Okay? And it says, And he turned back and looked on them and cursed them in the name of the Lord Yahweh Yahweh And they came forth, two she-bears. And bears are aggressive. Two she bears. And bears can run fast. You can't, you can't outrun. That's why they tell you if you're in front of a bear, the best thing to do is stay still, don't run. Because the, the moment you start running, that bear's going to run after you. And bears can run fast. Okay. And there came for two she bears out of the woods and tear 40 and two children. 42. Right? And he went from thence to the Mount Carmel, and from thence he returned to Samaria. Now Jehoram, son of Ahab, began to reign of, over Israel in Samaria, the 18th year of Jehoshaphat, king of Judea, okay, king of Judah, and reigned 12 years. And he wrought evil in the sight of the Lord, but not like his father, and like 
his mother for he put away the image so he wrought evil but there were certain things he decided to do he said he wrought he put away the image of Baal that his father had made nevertheless he cleaved unto the sins of Jeroboam the son of Nabat right which made Israel to sin he departed not thereon therefrom and when you go to Ezekiel, the scriptures tell you if a man doesn't repent from his sins, that's it. Right? And if a man returns back to his sins and he don't repent, that's why the key thing is repentance. Right? Key thing is repentant and coming back to Yahweh Shai. Key thing. Okay? And it says, bear me just a minute. So we're done with that. We're done with that. Baba Kishar. So that's a whole load of edification. Let me check the time. It's a whole lot of it. I hope it is. That's what I'm here to do. I'm here to edify the elect in hopes that they will be saved from this calamity. Right? To blow that trumpet. I quickly want to go to Amos, Baba Kisha, if I can find it. It's always interesting what we're going to um, bring out. You never know. This is Amos 3. Right? And... Six. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city? Huh? And the people not be afraid. That trumpet's being blown. So really, the people are supposed to really be afraid. Because that trumpet is being blown. But people, they're just going about their everyday life, doing their foolishness. Really, when you hear these words, you're supposed to be afraid. You're supposed to say, well, what's going on here? Let me inquire. Right? But these people, they're, they're in a foolish, slumbering, lackadaisical state. Shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord have not done it. And there's a lot of evil happening within these cities. But it's the Lord that's doing it. Right? It's the Lord that's doing these things. Surely the Lord Jehovah Shai will do nothing but he revealeth his secrets. Right? He revealeth his secret unto his prophets. That's what he's doing. Right? He's revealing his secrets, his mysteries unto the prophets. Not everyone. That's who he's revealing his secrets unto. A few, not many. Only a few. And what, what, what is a prophet? Someone that says before. Someone that tells you something that's about to happen before. That's a prophet. Okay? To say before it happens. And we're, we're letting you know what's going to happen. We're letting you know this kingdom's going to fall. And it's not going to rise. We're letting you know these things. Go to Jeremiah. Go to Jeremiah 51. Actually, this is Jeremiah 50. Right? Alright, this is Jeremiah 50. And 22. A son of battle. Is in the land and of great destruction. Right? So this is what? Prophesy. Prophecy. What Jeremiah saw. And great destruction. Right? How is the hammer of the whole earth? Gotta have to speed this up because I know it's gonna run out soon. How is the whole um, how is the whole hammer hammer? Of the earth cut asunder and broken down. It says the hammer. Because America is that hammer that's beating down nations, oppressing nations. How is Babylon become a desolation among the nations? Because that's what Babylon and America is going to be. Not about a desolation. Right? It's going to be grounded. All of Babylon. 
All right? I have laid a snare for thee, thou hast also taken, O Babylon, and I was not aware. Thou art found and are caught because thou hast striven against the Lord Yahweh Shai. Why? Because America is against Yahweh Shai. It's against Yahweh Shai. That's why in America you have what? A space program. Right? And it says, because thou hast striven against the Lord Yahweh, why you have a shy? All right. The Lord have opened His armory, which is what military weapons. That's the armory, and I have brought forth His weapons out of His indignation, right? And the main thing you want to focus on is this truth. You ain't got time to be caught up on women, and most of these women, they're not even. I wouldn't even give them an eight. I wouldn't even give them a seven. Just about a seven. And it says, this is the main thing you want to be focused on, right? Because everything you need, you desire, we're going to get that in the kingdom. Including women, you're going to get that in the kingdom, right? Don't worry about that right now, right? And it says, and I brought forth the weapons of his indignation, the weapons of his wrath, right? For this is the work of the Lord Yahweh of Shai, and the weapons of his wrath are their missiles that are going to take out this system. Right? For this is the work of the Lord Yahweh of Shai. That's what he wants. The scripture says, let his will be done. In heaven, so it is in earth. And the, the will starts in heaven and it happens in earth. Right? So everything we see begins in the heavens and it's played out on earth right come against her from the utmost right border open our storehouses cast her upon their heaps and destroy her utterly let nothing 